Hi, it's Diane Evans with StampingWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Now, if this is your first time visiting me, I welcome you. I think it's great that you've joined me. But why not subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the button that's down below and you'll get notified immediately as soon as I upload a new video. So today what I want to do is I want to show you a card um, that I've used the fine art floral with. And we're going to use lots of the elements actually um, from this particular suite. The only one that we're not going to use actually is going to be the embossing folder. So we're going to be using everything else in the suite. We're going to play with some... Um, of the gilded leafing embellishments we're going to play with the ribbon we're going to have um, some of the acetate and of course the designer series paper and the dies and the stamps so let's get started here's the the bundle when you do purchase this as a bundle you do save 10 percent um, so we're going to use that and then this is actually the card that we're making. And this was actually from either a card sketch or a mystery challenge that I had done with my group. So I'm just going to put that up there. And I'm going to show you what I've got here for all the different, um, the card stock that we need. So there's lots of different pieces on this one. I do link everything to my blog and it'll be in a link that's down below here that will give you the measurements if you don't catch them as you go along. Now this is... Uh, Pretty in pink? No, no, no. Oh my goodness, this is um, perfect pink. Oh my goodness, I have completely gone where I can't even remember what the name of the color. Petal pink, oh my goodness. Now this is five and a half by eight and a half and it scored at four and a quarter. I always fold it, say to fold into the mountain. That gives you the nice even edge that goes along there. You wanna make sure that you go in with your bone folder and make sure that you have that good and creased. Other colors that I'm using is, it's going to be Coastal Cabana, and that piece is four inches by five and a quarter inch. And then I've gone ahead and I've cut some of the designer series paper. Now I've cut the designer series paper that goes, that is in a one full sheet, and it also matches with the acetate that's there as well. And this is one eighth of an inch smaller. So this would be three and seven eighths by five and three eighths I believe and that's going to just fit on there just to give us uh, a very very small um, frame around the edge so let's go ahead and get this started on there so I'm just using my seal to put it down onto my card base and let's see when I'm on camera I should actually use my liquid glue because I'm much better because I have some more wiggle room on there. Now with this acetate does tend to show um, through so what you want to do is you want to strategically place that down um, on here and we're going to do it with glue dots but the way that I'm actually going to do is I'm not going to attach this yet I'm going to have it here and what I want to do is I want to attach my pieces to this piece of acetate, and then I'm going to attach the acetate to the cardstock. Okay, so I have a strip here that is two inches by four and three quarters. And of course, then this one's going to be one and seven eighths, and that's cut from the same piece of designer series paper. One and seven eighths by four and five eighths. So we're just going to layer that onto there. And there's that right there and see it's very very thin um sometimes that's very effective i used i used to do all of my layers by one quarter inch but i like the eighth of an inch i think it looks quite sharp now that's going to go on to there but let's get all our pieces together so i have another piece of this this is two and a half inches by two and a half inches and then this piece is two and three eights by two and three eights and again this is some designer series paper from there as well it's beautiful designer series paper you can use both sides of the paper it just gives a different look for what you want to do um, i really like the fact it has some colors because it's so nice to have different uh, designer series papers that are in our colors that we can go ahead and use them. So that's going to go on there like that. So what I'm going to do, like I said, 
I'm going to pretend that this is glued together and we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach that on there like that and like so. But Okay, this is, I actually wanted to put some ribbon around here too. Okay, so I happen to know that that's going to go there. Okay, so I'll show you another way. I, this The way I had originally thought that was going to work will not work because of the way that I want to put the ribbon on. Okay, so I have my ribbon, I mean my glue dots, and I do happen to know that I am going to put this strip that's down here. That's going to go there. And then I also know that I'm going to have a piece that's here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glue dots there and another one right about there. And then I'm going to glue my acetate onto that sheet. So it's just going to go like this. And you can see that you're going to see those glue dots through. But by the time we finish this card, you're not even going to know that it's there. Because this is going right here, which is going to cover that up. All right, so before I go ahead, and I'm actually going to attach that down there, I want to come in with that ribbon. And this is the, the ribbon. It's, the, it's called uh, a fine art it's just the fine art ribbon is all it's called and it's beautiful gold it's it's like a a jute um, type um, ribbon it frays very easily though so um, I always attach my ribbon I'll attach it with some tear and tape and then I'm also going to put some more tear and tape on top of it So I'll cut that off after I've put this on. So we're going to put that in the middle. And we'll just attach that to the back there. And then I'm just going to come in with some scissors. Let's just trim this part down there as well. And then I want to go back in and put the tear and tape on top because I do not want that tear and I don't want that ribbon to come off afterwards. And it won't come off. Just see, it just will not come off. Okay, let's go ahead and attach this to the card base. This is such a pretty, pretty paper. It was almost a shame to cut it up, but it looks so pretty on a card. So, all right, so we're going to do a faux bow on that in a bit. So let's go ahead and put this on top of here. That's where I'm going to want that. Yep, that's about. Just want to get that on there even. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and I think what I can do is I'm going to attach that to this part here and then I'm going to put dimensionals on this side here so that it pops up um, and is a bit even and doesn't hinder this ribbon. So we'll just take that off. And then this is just going to go about like so. There we go. Now we have a bit of stamping to do. So I have this piece here, and because it is photopolymer, I'm going to come in with my, my paper piercing mat. And we are going to actually go ahead and we're going to use the gold um, flecking on here as well. So I have this stamp, this one here, and then we're going to use this for some of the... Um, accents on there and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this just a tiny bit different okay so I'm going to go in and my lightest color 
is the petal pink. So I'm just going to stamp up those the the flowers there. And then I have some mellow moss and I'm just putting that on there and you notice I'm using this spot because I don't want it to get into the petals too much. So I've got more control where it's going to go to. So just going to put that onto the scrap piece of Whisper White or basic white, I guess it is now. Close this up. And now what we want to do is I want to go in with my Coastal Caban or my Calypso Coral. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp these. On here, it's giving me a tiny bit of color on there. And now what we're gonna do is kind of clean that off. And I wanna let that just dry just for a tad because now what we're going to do is we're going to use some Versamark. And we are going to then use our heat and stick, and then we're gonna use our gold flecking or our gold leafing. So I'm gonna come in with my Versamark. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stamp a little bit, not in the same spot as that last piece, because we want it to show up a little bit different. And I keep my heat and stick in one of these containers. I find it works the best for me. And I'm just going to get that onto the flower pieces. And I see it got onto some of my leaf and I don't want it on my leaf. And then I'm just cover that up. And we're gonna get rid of this because it will melt with the heat and stick. Now, the one thing that I do is I keep my gold flecking in a very big container. And you'll find, once you start playing with it, you'll find that you're going to like it a lot better in a bigger container than in a smaller container because it tends to go all over the place. So I'm bringing in my heat gun. And I'm just going to warm it up just a tad. And we're going to cut our heat from the bottom side up. And the reason we're doing that is, one, it's not going to overcook because you can overcook this and then lose the stickiness off of there. And then I'm just coming in and sticking this into my, my gold leafing there. And then I'm just grabbing a sponge and we're just going to rub this off so it just gets rubbed off like so we've just got a tiny bit of the gold flecking on there and that's all I really want on this card just like that and then we want to cover this up right away this stuff flies it I think it has a license to fly and get all over your stamp room and then of course we have to die cut this and it has a perfect die cut for it so I'm going to bring in my little cutman boss, or my little baby boss, I call it. And let's just put it on here. Now, the magnetic plate is um, on to quality issues, so they don't have the magnetic plate for this. But I have a solution in the meantime for this. Let's see where I want it. I use post-it note tape and I just put it on there and then just run it through. Now remember you have to stagger your plates with this little cut and emboss. That's how quick that'll work on there. This just goes back onto my machine. And there's my piece that's going to go right on there. Now, every one looks different. Every one that you do does look totally different. 
And the reason being for that is because you're just doing different um, um, amounts of this gold leafing on there. Now, another thing I want to do is I want to, to kind of coordinate it. I want to put some gold embossing on there. So I'm using my Versamark again. And I'm just going to do a happy birthday. It seems I have a lot of happy birthdays that I have to send out. So let's do that. Throw it into my gold embossing powder. Just like so. And we'll just heat set that as well. You know, the embossing uh, powder is retiring, but it's not retiring in such a way that you won't be able to get it. It's going to then now in the new catalog, it's going to come in packs of three. So um, if you're wanting to get like a huge amount of one color of embossing powder, I would suggest that you try to get it now while it's still available. So let's just heat this up. There we go. Sorry for the noise. But you definitely get a better look to the whole thing by doing the embossing with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. Put it like that. And now we can go ahead and just finish up the card. So I've got this. Let's go put dimensionals on the back. And you know what? I wonder if I should just put one little one there. I think I will. I'm just going to actually use this strip here. Just put that there. And then we're also going to put an embossing, I mean some dimensionals on there as well. So just put that on there. Let's go ahead and take these off now. And I see I've got this here. This about like so, I think. And what I probably should have done was not put this strip on here because it's going to raise that up more. But that's okay. We're going to leave that like that. Actually, I think I'm going to double dimensionalize right there on that one end. That just means I'm just adding a set another dimensional behind so that it's got something to sit up on. So it gives it the same even look across there. Now, as I said, we were gonna do a faux bow over here. So I'm just grabbing some more of this ribbon. I'm just going to stick it underneath there. Hmm. So I'm just sliding this ribbon underneath there. Easier said than done. I'll just take my take your pick tool and just push it up there. Another use for the take your pick tool, right? And now I'm just going to tie this in a knot, and that's called a fobo. Now, the key is to get it good and tight, then that way it's not going to move around. And then I'm just going to trim that off and trim this off here as well. There we go. And of course, we need to do some embellishments on here as well. And I think the gilded gems, the gold gilded gems would work the best. They come in a package that looks like this. And I think we'll use a few of those on here. Let's see, let's use one big one. I find the biggest ones are the hardest ones to use. And then let's use a medium size one. We can put that one down here. And we'll use a small one. And let's just put that right about there. So there's my card. I hope you like that. Um, it's 
got lots of layers. Like I say, I think I did it, it was either for a sketch challenge or it was for a mystery challenge. I kind of think it was a mystery challenge. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, if you like that, give me the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you do live in Canada and you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. I do have a very hefty online um, stamping rewards uh, program. And basically, I give away for every single order that I receive. I give away a tutorial or two each and every month. So I hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.